All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the HO Best Summer in Lake Erie. And uh, if you follow me, I uh, I really love TCS DCC decoders, and uh, I enjoy doing installs. And thought I'd do a little bit different of an install this time. Uh, this is the last two F units that don't have DCC. Um, these are Stewart, Bowser, whoever you want to call it these days, with the, the Kato drives. But uh, there's a dummy B unit. And got the A unit. As far as I can tell, these have never been run. The, the air, air horns aren't put in. The side frames aren't on. Um, so what I thought I'd do with this set for something different. Um, I'm going to put Wow Sound Decoder. I've had laying around for a while. So this is just the, the version 4. Um, not the not the motherboard, just the little green wrapped decoder. And I want to put that decoder in the A unit. Change the headlight over to LED. Um, and then I'm going to put a four pin micro harness to the B unit, like it was a tender on a steam locomotive. So I could separate it if I wanted to to, to work on it or whatever. Um, and then put the speaker in the B unit. I want to put a Tang Ben speaker in there, which you would never normally have room for in a diesel. I think it's going to sound amazing. Uh, and then I'm also going to put the pickup shoes on the B unit for power pickup, which the, the unit has keep alive or it will. So between the keep alive and eight axle pickup, uh, this should run anywhere over anything. No problem. Um, so I think it's going to be kind of a neat project. Uh, definitely a lot of things to figure out as we go here, but, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get things taken apart and start to lay out a plan, and we'll be back shortly. All right, well, we got the shells off, and it's been a while since I worked on one of these. I didn't remember this board being in here. Uh, it must have been. So it's already got an LED, so that's good news. No reason to change that out. Um, and it looks like it's got a resistor in there already for it. So, and it's got the, the NMRA 8-pin plug. So, here's what I'm thinking. I have got, and it had the, the DCC jumper in there. I pulled it out. So, I could use that DCC jumper, maybe. But I'd like to, or DC jumper, I guess I should say. But I'd like to keep it just, you know, in case I ever want to sell any of these things. I like having all the original parts. I have a control chip out of a BLI unit that uh, I changed over to TCS. I think this is probably dead anyway. I'm thinking I might just come in here and saw it off just to give me the 8-pin the plug. And those pins shouldn't go to anything then. And then I'll, I'll solder on the relative uh, leads to make myself a little plug there for the decoder. And I'll probably mount the Keep Alive out here with some sticky back tape. Or maybe in here, we'll see how it goes. And I'll mount the, the decoder down, down in here. I might just leave it loose. I've done that before. Those uh, wrap ones doesn't really hurt anything. Um... And then this is the four pin wire connector that I got. Uh, so I'll have to wire that in. And I'm thinking at least just to try this out, I'm just going to sneak the wires right down through and just come out the bottom. And then I'll probably come up in this gap in the frame into the B unit. Um, 
not the most elegant solution, but eh, what the heck, just to try it. Um, I think we'll see how it goes. And um, if I get this all together and I like the way it turns out and those wires are annoying or whatever, I can take these into work or uh, somewhere and just use a bridge port and drill some nice holes through the die cast here. I could probably do it with a hand drill too. I just don't want to start there and make a mess of things just to find out that this whole project was dumb. Because um, I have no idea how this is going to go. I really don't. So, But I think we're going to start off using this motherboard and the 8-pin connector. Um, so let me uh, get some stuff out and we'll start soldering. Okay. Well, there it is. I used the BLI card. I just chopped off all the electronic side of it, and I uh, checked continuity just to make sure that none of those uh, wires were still talking to each other. And I took the TCS harness and I cut off all the wires I wasn't planning on using and shortened it way up. So uh, that harness will just sit right down there nice. Um, and then the only other thing I did was I just soldered the wires on following the color code to what's on the circuit board there and double checking it against the NMRA standard 8 pin uh, layout and then I just took my 4 pin connector and doubled up the black and I put white to red uh, for my where did it go for my plug that'll go to the B unit. So at this point, I should be able to put the decoder on, plug it in, and check functionality of this much of it. So uh, I think we'll throw that on the program track and see if uh, I'm good so far, and we'll go from there. Okay, we got it on the test track, and uh, JMRA found it right away and uh, it is responding to the, the throttle here. I'm gonna go ahead and number this BNLE number 700. I, uh, the, oops. No numbers on the number board, so we'll go ahead and do that. I thought it'd be cool to have the class number and just go for the 700. Uh, so we'll go ahead and continue on with uh, the install here now that this looks like uh, everything's working correctly. Okay, so here's where we ended up since the last time. A couple days have gone by, and uh, initial test worked out pretty good. So I went ahead and put the decoder in and tucked the Keep Alive in underneath on the truck. Just put a piece of electric tape over it just to hold it in there. It's, it's not going anywhere, and there's no risk of it shorting out. I just tucked in a couple of the wires, and you know, normally I am down here working by myself, but I had a little bit of help today soldering some of these wires together. Ashley stopped over. <laughs> So Ashley, you have you have been absent from the model railroading world for like the last I don't know year because you've you've been busy with something. So so what have you been busy with? I went to Colorado to uh, do some security work and I got engaged. Oh, so so when <laughs> when is the wedding? Uh, next month, August twenty eighth. Well, very exciting. So <laughs> we'll uh, we'll keep pushing here and, and and listen to some music and see if we can uh, get this thing wrapped up. All right, so A unit is all back together. Still got to letter it for the, I'm going to number this one 700. And uh, just kind of got this roughed in. And uh, got the pickups coming off the trucks, wired, clarity's right on everything. And uh, these are not the speakers I'm putting in, but my uh, tang band that I want to put in here has not come yet. So I just thought I'd stick these in here just to make sure everything worked. And uh, sure looks like it does. So. Now I just gotta wait for the speaker and maybe do some decaling. Okay, there are the speakers back to back, sitting in the B unit. Just got it in on double uh, double back tape. We'll see how that goes. Uh, if it doesn't hold up, we'll uh, 3D print some brackets and, and bolt it in there. But I've had pretty good luck with double back tape. 
it seems like sometimes it just gets stickier with time. So uh, let me button it up and we'll see what happens. All right, here it is together. Idling away. Unit 700 with the twin tang band speaker in the B unit. There's just a little bit of rattle. And it's coming from the shell, so I might try getting some Dynamat. It's the stuff that uh, people with really car loud car stereos put in their trunk to keep it from rattling. So if I put my fingers on it, I still think it sounds really good. Really bassy. Really, really bassy. Go ahead and grab on the coupler here. You can hear the auto notch. And this is as the motor's working harder. And I think we're going to call that project good. Hope you've enjoyed following along, kind of one of my more unique sound installs. I like playing with these, doing them all kinds of different ways, and uh, seeing how they're a little bit different when you're done. So uh, stay tuned, find out what other uh, weird ideas we can put to work here on the HO scale, Bessemer and Lake Erie.